Hey everybody, it is Quickened, and welcome back to my channel. So this year I am participating in Vlogmas casually. It's a casual participation because I do want to challenge myself to make a ton of videos this month. So I might be making just like more simpler videos and things of that nature. Cats mixed with my normal content. So today I thought I would do a little bit of a haul. The cats are going to destroy all the bags. A little bit of a haul. Uh, Rosie and I went shopping the other day and I haven't been doing a ton of hauls because I just haven't been going shopping. I have been trying to buy less clothing and like utilize the clothes I have or modify the clothes I have to make them like more in trend and things like that. And definitely like thrift more but for the most part I haven't been shopping. So it was actually pretty cool like Bath and Body Works was having this big sale and Rosie hit me up and she's like, let's go. So the first things I want to talk about are some things I got from Target and I did get some Christmas ornaments. Oh, thank you. I had a missed call from John and it was making me crazy, so. Hello. Okay. He said he was at Target so he was going to pick up our cat food, but we actually buy specialty cat food so they don't sell it there. But he wasn't sure because they do have some like specialty brands there. I went to Target, I went with Justine, uh, we went in November, so I'm sharing it now, and I got some Christmas ornaments, I also got some makeup items that I will be sharing in a video that should be coming out like any day now, so the things that aren't in that makeup video I'll share now. But we got some ornaments, and John and I are getting a tree this year, and you know last year I had that like wreath that just had like an Ethan ornament, so I did get some ornaments, and this is the first ornament. It is this little like abominable snowman Sam Squanch kind of guy and he is so cute. All of these ornaments were three dollars and he does have the little like string at the top but I just really love him. Just seeing that one that was like more gray and brown and then I got this one. He just, he just reminds me of Ethan. Next I got this funny little bear and he is just wearing a scarf. This is exactly it. He still has his tag on for three dollars. He's just funny. Just like the way they left his head only that the visibility level is just making me crazy. So I love him. So for Christmas one of my favorite motifs is Santa. I, I really like Santa. I like when he's really cute. I don't like when he's scary. I don't like the like Coca-Cola Santa. I like a really like like silly silly Santa. The sillier the Santa, just the crazier I go. And I've only been like that like the last five years. Uh, just one day I was like, Santa's hilarious. So I have this Santa riding a bear. It doesn't get better than that. He like has a backpack on. He's like so silly. Like, and look at his little boot. It's just like, I could die. So this is the funny Santa. Let me take this off. This Santa, you know, these ornaments are $3. They're not like the craziest, highest quality item. And something about that just makes them even more charming. Well, anyway, here's most of it off and here he is. You can see he's hilarious. He has like a lot of glue and finishing on him from, I guess, the process of making him, but why would Santa ride a bear? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself about Santa riding a bear. My last ornament is this Santa and he is just hilarious. He's just like, like a terry cloth kind of Santa and he's just funny. He's just, you know, he's just going to work. And I love that about him. Thank you for your service. The next thing I got at Target, and this is probably specific to my Target only, and it's these Pennsylvania socks. They say PA and they have the shape of Pennsylvania on them. A lot of these things that come out this time of the year are like gifts. Like this says you can add like to and from on here to give it as a gift, but I'm giving it to myself. So while I was... Did you see Ethan? While I was out there, we also went to Ulta and I picked up the About Last Night Morphe palette, and this is a 9N. I am very new to Morphe. I have watched countless tutorials with Morphe makeup and just like never really got into it. Like I got into what I was seeing, but never really got into like buying Morphe things. 
And then when we were in Ulta, in real life, this was only $12, and I really liked some of the colors in here. So I just grabbed it. I did want to like try it, obviously, and see what all the fuss was about. I kind of feel like since so many influencers and like beauty YouTubers and stuff talk about this makeup, it must be good. So these are the colors that come in here, and I just thought that they were really pretty. Something I could definitely challenge myself with because I am trying to challenge myself a little more with doing makeup and I just think that they're really pretty. Something I could like definitely be into. A good combination of mostly mattes and then some shimmers and a little bit of sparkle. So I'm, I'm into that, you know. I'm into a little sparkle. I can get crazy. So that was $12 at Ulta. After buying this, it, it was actually pretty fun, like, I used to really be into makeup a couple years ago and would always go to YouTube and specifically search the thing I wanted to buy or had purchased to see how people would, like, make looks with it. And when I looked, like, when I came home and looked this up, I only found, like, two tutorials on it. So, it's not on their website. I think maybe it's Ulta exclusive. I don't know. I bought it in real life, so. so smash that like if you want to see a tutorial done with it. Next, I got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush set. And I don't know much about Jaclyn Hill, but I had been looking for like a brush set that was for the eyes specifically. And I did watch some videos with um, James Charles and almost bought his brush set and then I went to Ulta in real life and saw these so I just decided to grab this and this came to about $48. Most of these YouTubers do offer codes so you can get 10% off but I did buy it in real life so I did pay full price but I, I think that they're really nice. I did use them already in a makeup look and need to wash them but what I really like about this is I have been using like kind of cheap makeup brushes forever or makeup brushes that weren't really tailored to what I was trying to achieve which is obviously like blended eyeshadow looks so it has been nice to grab something that's foolproof you know what I mean it's like I can't really mess this up because these were designed to do the eye look that I'm looking for I always thought like Oh, I can make it work with these other brushes and I probably could but it was nice to grab these and honestly they're an investment so that was nice they came with this bag Morphe does have more affordable brush eye sets at Ulta as well um I noticed those afterwards we went to Bath and Body Works and this is the huge bag we got to walk around town with and we went to Bath and Body Works first so the bag got really heavy but I was really excited. I I honestly can't stop picking up candles and I love I love having candles burning in the house and I honestly I don't know, like I bought leaves, the Bath and Body Works candle and I burned all the way through it and it felt like an achievement. Like that's where I'm at in my life. But I do feel like a really good candle sets up the home for like, it's almost like decorating your house without really trying. Like you would light up leaves and everyone was like, it's autumn in here. I have a lot of candles and it's kind of been a personal goal of mine, <laughs> set the bar low, to burn through the candles I have. And I have really challenged myself after making these purchases. When Rosie invited me out, in my mind it was like, you have a lot of candles, but that was like, I like to hang out with my friends. So the first two candles I'm going to share with you are these smaller candles, and I have the scent Campfire Donut, and I also have Winter. So if you ever go sh candle shopping with your friends, all of you do, I know. If you ever find yourself shopping with a companion at the candle store, I always feel influenced by what they've chosen. So Rosie pick up, picked up Winter in a three wick, so I just grabbed Winter in a mini. We went during the $8 sale, and although these minis were on sale, they were actually more expensive than the three wick. So I didn't, I didn't get the best deal. I set myself up to not get the best deal, but 
Do you feel like these smell better sometimes? This is my conspiracy. Sometimes I will smell um, like the single wick and then smell the three wick and like the single wick more. Campfire Donut I have already lit and I really really liked it. I do like these single wicks. They're good for my downstairs bathroom because a three wick candle doesn't fit on the countertop there. <laughs> so um, I actually really like this. Like if you are all about campfire uh, marshmallow fireside, meet Campfire Donut. I actually could not find Campfire Donut in a three wick but that's perfectly okay. I was burning this and the throw, that's candle talk, was really, really strong. Even from the downstairs bathroom, we were in the living room and I could smell it and I loved it. They're pretty specific to my downstairs bathroom being a single wick, but I, I am actually pretty excited for them. So the notes on winter are fir needles, clove, and orange and campfire donut is powdered sugar, glazed donut, cedar wood, and essential oil. Wow. Um, you know me, lemon mint leaf is just some, a candle I really, really like. It's very refreshing, very clean scented. I feel like if you like this in your bathroom, it's a very like cleansing sort of fragrance. And the notes on this are sparkling lemon zest, spearmint leaves, and sprigs. Did you know that if you smell the lid, it is the most like authentic representation uh, of the smell? Next, I got cinnamon pine cone or grove? Cone, cursive is hard. And this candle is definitely like number one, like homemaker, suburban home, wreath, decorated, the tree's already up, like vibes. And this is fresh pine, cinnamon bark, and Cedar Juniper. I like this because the container is hollow. That's pretty cool. And I wanted to try something a little new and something that would set the tone for the holiday season in my home. And then I grabbed this candle for John and this is White Tea Ginger. This might be another spring candle, but I got this for him and he already lit it, which is exciting for me. I like when we do things together. So this is thyme, sage oil, and sandalwood. So not really white tea, not really ginger, but it's called white tea ginger. So I have two counterfeit candles. And by counterfeit, I mean Aldi is killing me. I have so many Aldi candles. And every time I go to Aldi, I get a candle because they have new candles. And I, I actually went there the other day and didn't buy one. I smelled all the new ones. They always have new ones. They have these like frosted glass. So I even joked to the cashier, I was like, you didn't give me this time with the candle, but I did buy a rolling pin, so. So Aldi has three wood candles and they're generally around like eight to $10. I got like a crackling pumpkin candle and I have this like black pomegranate candle that I went back and bought like five of. I love that one. They don't have it anymore. It does not smell like pomegranate. The thing about these candles is they don't really smell like what they're advertising. And I love that about them because it makes me stand in the aisle and smell all of them. So this is warm vanilla. This does not smell like vanilla at all. I love that. This smells more like clean cotton or like a cotton kind of candle. It looks like this in the package. It has like latte art on here. It does not smell like latte. And then this is called Snow Day. This could smell like anything, but what it does smell like is mint chocolate chip. So this smells like, like a peppermint mocha and I love that. I love that about this candle. All right. That's all my candles. So we went to Uniqlo to buy some like heavy winter clothes and I bought a pair of heat tech socks. So Uniqlo is really great about like, I guess supplying clothing that are great for like city life for like, commuters or like bike commuters. And they have all these different clothes that have like heat technology in them. So I wanted to buy some heat tech socks I actually had a three pack from like two years ago and it's finally at a point where I just have one left. Just one. The Sock Monster, he gives any takes. 
Per Rosie's recommendation is this pair of slacks. And these are just some maroon color slacks that come to a tapered little bit of a leg here. They show a little bit of ankle. I love that. And I got the size medium. So these are kind of great because they have a like lazy girl like compliment to them but a very professional finish. So like this zipper is fake. It does have front pockets, which is awesome. And when I tried these on, you could not see the pocket through. Sometimes if you have big thigh problems, like I went to Cabela's and I was trying on all the Carhartt for women pants and wow. Did I feel awful? But then I came home and put these on and felt like a million bucks. So these are great elastic waistband and they look really good with a belt. So when we went to Urban, you know, if you have the Urban Outfitters app, you can collect a bunch of points if you enter a bunch of their contests. And I enter their contests every single day and have not won ever, but I did get a $5 coupon. So I bought this little planter. And he is just a friendly little guy. I went in there and I wasn't really sure what to buy, but I knew I had this snake plant that was just sitting in the original container I had bought it in. So I just repotted it into this little guy. He has a little hole at the bottom for irrigation, which is great. And he is like a, like I hate like, Blech. I don't really like the texture of him, so I repotted him, put him in the window, and I'm done with him. But he's so friendly and nice. Finally, 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 the last thing that I bought, other than this shirt, which is the item that I bought from Brandy Millville. This was $25, and it was one size fit all. If you guys have any experience with, is it Brandy? Brandy Millville, they opened one downtown in Philadelphia and it was packed. A lot of people were in there. It, the vibes were very strong. So Rosie and I actually went in there to check it out and both of us bought the same shirt, but, um, so I got this shirt. I already cut it at the bottom to uh, just give it this like looser chiller vibe. So the final thing I bought is uh, I went into Aveda and I bought Scalp Benefits. Um, the shampoo and conditioner. So it's a little expensive. It's like $20 for each thing, but I really, 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 you know, when I was younger, I used to hate the fragrance of Aveda and now I like need it. So this is the kind of clarifying shampoo that I'm going to be using for the winter. It's a little chiller. I have been washing my hair about two times a week versus never. So this has been a good transition. This is great for dandruff, and I think it's gonna be great to have in our bathtub for John and I both. I've been using Black Malva shampoo for years. I buy the big bottle and it's all I need all year. So I went in there to pick up another bottle of Black Malva and just decided to get this. It says gently cleanses hair and scalp and the conditioner you can put directly on your scalp. So this is kind of what I want to have for the winter and I'm pretty excited about it. Mm. I can't even tell you what it smells like. It smells like somebody, um, you know in The Lion King where he goes and he hangs out with Rafiki in that tree and he like busts open that food and takes that stuff and like wipes it on him. I feel like that's what it smells like. It smells like whatever he busts open. It's very natural food smelling. <laughs> Stop. I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Vlogmas. I hope you enjoy this video. I don't post a ton of hauls, but I do get excited when a couple days go by and I tend to be shopping in the, the that time frame. So that's kind of how I feel with all of that. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see for a Vlogmas. I am going to be attempting to make more videos than usual, but I cannot promise that I will be making all 30 days of video. 
Anyway, I love you guys. Special shout out to the channel members. You can always join channel members with the join button down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notifications every time I post. I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye.